Welcome to Axon Bulk Upload. Axon can be populated in a variety of different ways. Through the manual creation of one-off objects via the user interface. Through the bulk upload of objects via an Excel file using pre-existing templates or mapping columns. Via APIs or through integration with other Informatica products, such as EDC, data quality, and secure at source. This video focuses on bulk upload. In this demonstration, we will step through using Axon's bulk upload functionality to upload multiple systems at one time. As we have seen, Creating objects individually is fine for ad hoc entries, but at the outset of any data governance project, there will be hundreds of records to create, and so we will look to use the bulk upload facility within Axon. Often the data will have been partially assembled already, either in spreadsheets or in legacy systems that can export to a spreadsheet or CSV format. Clearly, if you can prepare the data in spreadsheets and then bulk upload it, you will populate Axon much more quickly than manual data entry. In order to begin the bulk upload process, you go to the Create menu as you would to create an object manually. But rather than selecting an object type, choose the bottom option to Upload from File. This will bring us to the Bulk Upload wizard. There are two ways to upload data, one where you have to map columns from a spreadsheet structure you already have, and another where you use a predefined spreadsheet template which Axon provides. The second process is easier, as you can see the data schema you need to use, and you can be sure that columns match and import automatically. The best policy is to start off by understanding the predefined template and then you can decide which approach will require the least data preparation. You download the template by selecting the type of upload that you are doing using the available dropdowns. Here I am selecting to upload objects of type system and I am uploading new items rather than updating existing ones. I then click download template to open and view the template. The Excel spreadsheet is open on the screen. The red columns are the mandatory fields. The rest are optional. Many of the columns have pick lists that ensure you provide valid entries. The end five columns allow you to populate a governance stakeholder per system, but you can only include one stakeholder per object. That's because you cannot have the same system more than once in the upload spreadsheet. You will have to add additional stakeholders after the bulk upload, either manually or in the case of core objects, there is a similar bulk upload template that you can use for the addition of stakeholders to existing objects. Here is a sample template that we've already populated. We've got some additional systems that we're going to add. We've got descriptions. Over to the right, we've got some stakeholder information. By the way, if you're including stakeholder information, 
you're actually matching stakeholders rather than importing them. The stakeholders defined here must already exist as people records in Axon. Axon's import wizard matches a stakeholder using just one of the following. LAN ID first, email second, or combined first name and last name third. It is best to use LAN ID or the user email, as these will be unique values. For example, you might have two employees called John Smith. And if you do use LAN ID or email, you can leave the two name fields blank if you wish. Once you've filled out the spreadsheet, make sure there are no redundant partially filled rows at the bottom. The best approach is to select the first empty row, press Shift Command or Down to select all of the rows to the bottom of the sheet. Then right click a row and press Delete. Once you have updated your template, you can save and close it. To begin the bulk upload process, we select the file and click to upload. Once you've selected your file, choose Next Map Columns. This will take us to step two, where we are asked to map the columns. If you have used the spreadsheet template, this is not necessary, as all of the columns have automatically matched. If you have not used the spreadsheet template, you will need to map columns, so the right data goes to the correct field in Axon. Once that's complete, click Next, Start Upload. You will then see the green bar load across the screen as Axon begins to validate the data in the spreadsheet. In this case, an error has occurred. We can choose to download the error report to see what the problem is. In this case, the incorrect stakeholder name has caused the file to fail. We're going to correct this problem and try again. The spreadsheet has been corrected, and we do not need to show the spreadsheet again or repeat steps one to three. This time the green bar loads all the way. If you are performing large bulk uploads and do not want to wait for on-screen confirmation, you can navigate away from this page and come back to view it in My Account. Here we can see the About Me tab. If we go to the bottom, we've got My Jobs. Here we can see a list of the jobs that we have done, uploads that have failed, for example, and the last upload that succeeded. This page records a full view of uploads, both the successes and failures and all the reports related to any issues that have occurred for full audit purposes. If we return to the search screen and go to our Systems Facets tab, we can see a list of new systems that have now been uploaded.